Welcome everyone to another episode. I'm the Greek Retro Geek and today we're going to open more bags with games. From the same store I got the deals. They keep selling the games for 50% off but they have to be $9.99 or less. But still, great deals nevertheless. So I'm going to bring the bags and show you what more games I bought the past few days. There's three bags of games this time and I mostly focus on newer games, uh, PS4 and PS3 and the Xbox games and let's see what I got. So the first one, uh, it's a racing game, Race with Ryan Road Trip, this is kind of like a, a Mario Kart clone. Uh, looks interesting, I think this is going to be a kid's game but you know something, um, sometimes these games are pure mindless fun and we don't want a lot of challenge if we want to just play some games with the kids and this was three bucks uh, so this was added to the collection didn't really hurt the wallet as much next comes a geometry wars 3 dimensions evolved this is one of the best uh, kind of like futuristic um, uh, shooting game um, i think this came out on a physical release only for for the xbox one um, and that's how and why i got it i usually don't collect games for the xbox one unless they're exclusives and as you know there's not many exclusives for the xbox it's funny how the discs uh, are in the opposite direction on the xbox one uh, game cases right so great deal this was also three bucks and um, all the games were 50 percent off grabbing some more games and um, i think that this bunch is uh, for the ps2 and have some uh, kids games we have a uh, shark tale for the ps2 when i say kids games i mean uh, movie based games which are for the most part oriented they uh, you know towards young young audiences so this is a uh, shark tale three dollars i'm i'm holding a one of the newer prince of persia games the prince of persia warrior within you know that when the franchise got this reboot and they start making new Prince of Persia games which were 3D and uh, pretty cool games there were like three or four different Prince of Persia games that came out uh, on the PS2 and the PS3 so this is the Warrior Within then I have a, a game which I didn't have in my collection I thought that you know why not uh, the the artwork is uh, pretty sick um, Savage Skies I think this is um, kind of like a shooting game like a little bit like Puzzle Dragoon Saga, eh, I mean Puzzle Dragoon, I don't know, I don't want to compare this game with the amazing Puzzle Dragoon games. I don't know if this is a really a good game, but uh, it was $3 dollars um, added to my collection. So next, we do have some more fun games. This is a Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. This is another one of uh, the Prince of Persia games, so I got two. Of these they look like really fun I mean at the screenshots there Ubisoft developed uh, these games and um, this is from LucasArts Thrillville this is one of these uh, uh, theme park uh, simulators where you basically put together a theme park and then you know you grow it and you basically get more uh, visitors and then you have more increase your revenue um, I didn't have it on my collection and you know this is a ten dollar game bought it for three bucks good deal hmm. Looney Tunes back in action for the PS2 very few kind of like Looney Tunes games for the PS2 and I don't think there's any on the PS3 this is one of the few it's nice to see you know Bugs Bunny on a newer game which is not like really old retro when Bugs Bunny was popular in the 90s Oh, look at this Sega Genesis collection on the PS2. I mean, I know that there is many, many Sega Genesis collections, uh, Sega Mega Drive collections over the years, but this is one of the first ones, and this is really cool. It has so many great games. It has the Sonic games, has the Rise Star games, Columns games. It has a Echoed Garfield games, Comic Zone, Shadow Dancer, an amazing game, Golden Axe. Really great compilation there. Sega Genesis collection on the PS2. This was five bucks. Pretty good deal. Then we have for many people one of the best uh, Twisted Metal games. This is Twisted Metal Black uh, on the PS2. Uh, uh, really great price, also complete. This has a very heavy manual. I mean, the box, I mean, feels really 
you know, solid and heavy when you grab the game. So it looks like um, there's lots of things to know how to play the game. I don't know. That was also five bucks. Another great game for the PS2, White Wipeout Fusion. This is basically, as you know, a series of games with uh, futuristic, uh, super fast uh, running, um, you know, vehicles. Uh, really addicting, really fun games. I found them a little bit on the hard side, uh, but uh, one of the better ones in the series is a uh, uh, Wipeout Fusion on the PS2. Now this um, this is brand new, and this is brand new and uh, sealed for the Xbox. And this is the Elder Scrolls 3, the Morrowind game, the Platinum Hits. Um, uh, I always grab new games when they're really cheap. This was five bucks, and especially that's as you know one of the best uh, uh, games of the series. Um, one can argue that the better one is uh, Skyrim, but for its time Morrowind was uh, really big. Now we have a Naruto game, Naruto uh, Storm 4 for the PS4 uh, with the DLCs and everything. This is a complete uh, uh, version of the game for five bucks. Not really a big fan of the anime, but I would like to try to play these games. Uh, the HD remaster of uh, Final Fantasy X and X2 uh, um, for five bucks for the PS4. And this is a Wii game, Domino Rally. Looks um, pretty fun. I mean, from the screenshots uh, on the box. Um, I thought, you know something, I like the art of the game. It looks fun. I didn't even look it up to see if it's a good deal. It was three bucks. So I bought it. And then uh, we have another futuristic racing game, ZX2O, for the PS2 this time. I like the, the cover, lenticular cover, right? and the back of the box and this was also a really good deal and that was the first uh, of the three bags let's um, get the the second bag and see what games are in, in the second bag that i brought home today and first i'm gonna grab some of the portable games this is a puzzler mind gym 3d so why did you buy this, uh, you will ask me. Uh, you know something, I'm not going for a complete set for the 3DS, but um, um, there's so many LEGO games I really don't want to buy. There's, they all look the same. Uh, but um, you know, if there's something a little more obscure I don't see every day for a good price, uh, why not? This was $4, complete in box for the 3DS. Now I got some really interesting games for the PSP. Uh, uh, for for good prices, this is uh, the NFL uh, Street 2 Unleashed for five bucks. These are pretty popular here in the United States. I also got a um, Tokobot from Tecmo. It's a, it's a fun uh, puzzle game. And then I got a, sm a Smart Bomb, which is also a puzzle game for the for the PSP. This was a dollar fifty cents. So you know, pretty inexpensive stuff. I'm gonna grab more games and see what's there and we're going to run them a little faster because they uh, um, some of these are you know uh, are not uh, to be discussed a lot and i don't know many things for some of these games dance dance revolution disney edition for the ps2 this was a sealed copy for kingdom hearts uh, 3 on the ps4 for four bucks an amazing game i actually beat this game I love the Kingdom Heart franchise and I like the simplicity of this game. Didn't have so many complicated things going on. So it was like a series of um, kind of like Disney movies you could play one after the other. And some people didn't like this uh, on the on that specific Kingdom Hearts. I really enjoyed the game. This uh, rail shooter for the PS3, a very underrated game, the shoot. If you find it, try to play it. Um, it's, it's on rails shooter, basically, like the old uh, good and old arcade times the Siberia adventure game on the original Xbox for $1.50 and let's grab some more second sight on the Xbox haven't played this game Concrete Genie for, for $4 on the PS4 I heard that this is a, a pretty cool chill game uh, on the system and it also has the VR mode, which enhances the gameplay. 
Another one which I haven't played, but it's basically based on the Final Fantasy, um, you know, franchise, Dizidia N, Final Fantasy Dizidia N, um, on the PS4. This was four bucks. Then we have the Naruto Storm game without the DLCs, the plain version for four bucks. The Last of Us Remastered, you know, one of the best ways to play the game, the greatest hits on the PS4 for four dollars. Pretty sure most of you or many of you have played this game. And then we got some more Fantasy Star Universe on the PS2. So Fantasy Star didn't start and stop on the Dreamcast. They kept making games. Midway Arcade, Arcade Treasures on the on the PS2. Really great games here. Spy Hunter, Defender, Defender 2, Gauntlet, Just, Paperboy, Spaz TV, Road Blasters. Wow, this is a great compilation. Clax, uh, Satan's uh, Hollows, Plat, Vindicators. This is a great compilation of Midway. And this was only like four bucks. That was a great deal. This is a legend, uh, the legend of the Excalibur from the PS2. Uh, another game which I didn't have and I just uh, added uh, to my collection for four bucks. And this is uh, the Bard's Tale, also four dollars on the PS2 for the PS2. Getting closer to to get all the games off from the second bag. This is the Summoner. There is a sequel on this game. This is the first one on the PS2. Um, it's kind of like an action RPG game. This is Black. This is a great first-person shooter. If you haven't played the game and you like FPS games, this is a great one. On the PS2, amazing graphics for the system. And also a great deal for four dollars. Then we have Rune, Waking Warlord for the PS2. And the Polar Express, another game based on, you know, movies. Huh? Um, I think that um, this is a this is a decent game based on the reviews I've seen, so I haven't played it also in the collection. So we're in bag two out of three, and I'm going to bring the the third and the last bag of the haul and see what we got here. So this is the third one, and this is the the long receipt <laughs> for this haul. I oh, I. I Paid the same amount I paid a couple days ago. Like I wanted to keep it uh, under control where possible. I don't know how possible it is when, you know, uh, there's so many things which uh, you want to add and it's uh, great deals. This is a DS game uh, from the Transformers series, Transformers Prime the game. And I found another couple of Transformers games for five bucks. Tangled on the DS for three bucks. Now, that's an embarrassment, but you know something? I thought, you know, it's a nice boxed game with a manual. You don't find boxed DS games every day. This is the Island Princess Barbie for three bucks for the DS. Shrek's Carnival Craze Party Games for $1.50 on the DS. Codenames Team for the 3DS for $1.50. I think this is an inexpensive game. And then here's some other cool games for the NES. Harlem's Globe Trotters. I have never seen this game. I have never seen this uh, cover. So I thought, you know something, I'm calling for the NES. Oh, how did I not have this uh, semi-common game? So I grabbed it. Baseball Stars from SNK. It's a classic uh, arcade port. It was like $5. Prisoners of War from SNK. So many SNK classics. Another arcade port for five bucks. An amazing Konami basketball game, double dribble for the Sega Genesis, the Sega Mega Drive for five dollars. The Adventures of Chaos starring young Indiana Jones for the Sega Mega Drive Genesis for five bucks. This is only cart the cartridge, but still great deals. We have a Red and Stimpy's, Stimpy's Invention for the Sega Genesis. This is a pretty cool game. Four dollars. And then we have compact cars from Accolade for, for three bucks for the Sega Genesis. We're almost done. And I have some more portable games. I have Arcade Advance for the 
for the Game Boy Advance. It's a compilation of Konami games. We have a couple of X-Men games for the Game Boy Color. This is one and the other one, X-Men, Wolverine's Rage. We have The Little Mermaid for the, for the Game Boy Color. And we have a game which I didn't have, Tesserae. It's a puzzle game for the OG Game Boy. Okay. Then for the NES, this is Bad Dudes for three bucks. Classic Data East. Fun. Oops. We don't want them to fall. Operation Wolf. The classic Operation Wolf for the NES for three, like one fifty, not even three dollars. Super Glove Ball. Mattel. Mattel used to publish video games for the NES for dollar fifty. Couple of win loser draw copies. I th I think that this is quite an expensive game, and they were selling it only for dollar fifty. So I grabbed all three copies they used to sell. It was kind of like embarrassing, but you know I don't care. They choose the price. I'm the consumer. Transformers Cybertron. This is the second Transformers that I got for the uh, DS. And Super Jeopardy. Talking Super Jeopardy for the NES. Huh. That was kind of like uncommon. This is one of the uncommon Jeopardy games. There are like four or five in the US. I don't think anything came out in, in Europe. Uh, Trick Shooting. It's another NES game which I didn't have. Four bucks. And <laughs> Info Genius. Let's talk and learn to speak French for the Game Boy. It's not a game, it's software. It says HQ for the Game Boy for five bucks. WF Superstars for the Game Boy. Ariel Little Mermaid for the Game Gear for five bucks. And I think that's it. Yeah, there's just another one, the last one. Oh, this is the port of uh, Broken Sword for the Game Boy Advance. I didn't know that there was a port of the, the Adventure game on the GBA. Here it is now in the collection. And that was the last game of, uh, of the fall. I think we covered everything. Well, um, I like sharing this with you. I think that I'm really happy with what I found. We'll see which ones we're going to keep, which games will be uh, upgrades. Um, you know, we pick the one with the best uh, cover. Um, thank you for watching. Please um, like the video. I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I'm the Greek Retro Geek. I'm going to catch up with you the next time.